Don't share the same bath water because you're trying to be cheap. Like, you want to have an abundant mindset. Today, God put it on my heart to talk about seven reasons you cannot grow. So I know for some reason, every time I turn around, I see all these different videos on YouTube. It's all about growth goals and setting these goals and just becoming the ultimate best woman or man that you desire to be. So I have some notes here. <laughs> and the first thing I want to touch base on is like one of the reasons why you just can't grow is because you don't believe in yourself and you keep coming up with all these excuses you have to believe in yourself i i, I know it's it sounds like a broken record but if you don't believe in yourself then how can someone else believe in yourself and i just can't tell you to believe in yourself you have to really like do some soul searching and dig deeper into why you don't believe in yourself um because it's it's it you know what's going on in your life and you know the things that you went through to have that self-esteem that don't help you feel like you um can really achieve the things that you want to achieve and become the woman that you want to become so that's the first thing you have to believe in yourself and don't doubt and don't come up with excuses when you come up with excuses you drive yourself yourself further and further away from your goal your growth goal so the second one that i want to talk about is one thing that i have dealt with and to be honest with you it really sucks because how can someone tell you how to live your life how can someone hold you back so the second one is that basically someone told you that you can't acquire certain things or do certain things. I really personally think that it's coming from an insecurity a issue from that person that that told you that you can't be what God created you to be. And you know what? The good news is that at least they are showing you who they are and you can kind of just take a step back. If it's a loved one, just make sure that you, you don't share too much of the things that you're doing and move in silence. Find someone that you don't, you don't have a stock of feelings invested in and make sure that they are like a mentor or someone that is not necess necessarily close to you, but someone that is happy with what they're doing and someone that genuinely cares about what um, your goals are and what you are doing um my dog is just playing <laughs> i know he kind of match he kind of matches my my card again <laughs> so that's one thing i want to say like don't worry about what what people say like it's really disheartening when someone say oh no i don't think you should do that or i don't think you can do that because x y and z or because this person's doing over here doing it over there or this person is doing it over there so you shouldn't do it how many doctors are there how many bus drivers are there i'm not saying you want to be a bus driver but you're getting the point because there's so many cashiers in the world and and there's space and room just for anything if you're called to do something that's what you're called to do it's not up to you to explain how and why you are going to do it it's not up to you to uh, convince some person why you are doing these things why you've been called to take the path that god called you to take the third one you keep hanging out with people who aren't smarter or are doing better than you if you are the smartest person in your group, nothing wrong with being the smartest person. We're not putting anyone down, okay? We're just saying, if you really wanna grow and learn, you need to hang out with people that are doing better than you, okay? Like, don't feel intimidated or anything like that. You'll be surprised how many people um, have uh, advice that they would give you or even insight. 
for your next direction. God uses people too, so do not underestimate God, okay? Like, if you think that you got the potential, yeah, I'm looking you up and down because I believe that you have the potential. I believe that you have the potential to do better, to be better, but you have to get out your own way. You have to forgive yourself. Yes. I said to forgive yourself and love yourself. And if you're like me, love God, okay? Put God first in everything you do. I'm telling you, the enemy will use anybody. He will, use, he will even use the and outside to come against you, honey, okay? <laughs> but no, seriously, like, the enemy will use anybody to slow you down. So number four, you want to take everybody and their problems with you. Honey, no, you cannot solve everybody's problem, especially if they really don't want it to be solved and just want to rant and just want to be heard. So stop it. So stop it. You pray for them. And if they are meant to go with you where you're going on your journey, then that's fine. But as long as you continue to be around those type of people it's going to slow you down and you're going to sell your sh yourself short because you feel like you're going to offend someone because you are you really want to be your true and authentic self so just stop it just stop it like you don't have to attend every party you don't have to attend every event you don't you really don't it's okay to say no because if you want to start a business, if you want to become more independent, and, and there's going to be people that's going to approach you with ideas. And if it doesn't align with what you are doing and doesn't align uh, with your brand and you don't say no, you can really have a public nightmare just because of misrepresentation. But I'm not going to sound like a lawyer. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. I was going to go to school to be a lawyer, but um, it was going to be too stressful. Anyway, number five, you want to take on goals, but you don't want to grow. Oh, I know. I know. You want to take on goals, but you don't want to grow. That's not going to work. It's not. Just imagine you going from an uh, apartment and then you want to get a house. If you have the same mindset... <laughs> It's not gonna work. If you wanna do, if you, it, like you literally went from hanging up a, a certain type of blinds and curtains to hanging up a more like the premium or luxurious type of blinds and, and curtains. And now you have a water bill. Like, no, don't, don't share the same bath water because you're trying to be cheap. Like, you want to have an abundant mindset if you want to have goals. You have, have, you, have, you have to have a you have to have a growth mindset and grow. Like you cannot have a poverty mindset. It's just not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? It you know you you, you can't. It, it, it goes from looking for all the sales at the grocery store to finding the best uh, food and the healthy food and looking at the the nutrition value versus looking at the sale tag like you're not gonna no it's not gonna work it's not gonna work god will provide if you want to trust in god then you do not need to have a poverty mindset like you just don't it doesn't fit it doesn't work and like relationships you can't think the same way you can't go to the same places if you want to meet someone better or new coming at number six having a low energy lifestyle looks like on your free time, all you want to do is, I'm going to go there, drink, smoke, party. So a low energy lifestyle is when you basically like do things to slow you down. Uh, and it gives you like not a lot of energy. Like if you eat a lot of fast food and stuff like that, uh, eat a lot of um, foods that weigh you down give you the itis <laughs> that's what we call it the itis i'm not saying you know indulge in those things but doing it in moderation but if you want to have your thoughts and 
a growth mindset, you most definitely want to take some time out to cleanse, detox, and do what you need to do. You know, whether it's you, you know, taking a break from drinking, from smoking, from watching a lot of TV, from partying, from just indulging in gossip, indulging in conversations that don't serve you any purpose, especially being around people that don't want to grow, that's content, like that would really slow you down. The last reason, but I'm sure it's not the only reason that keep you from growing is you have a problem. Listening. You have a listening problem. You listen to respond and just to be heard. You don't listen. Listen. You should start listening. Okay? Just listen. You would get so far with listening. And get your notebook. Also, so many years, I literally avoided getting therapy. Knowing during the well that I needed it. And when I finally got it, I wanted to be in therapy like for the rest of my life because it became a part of my list of people that I need. It's like having a doctor or even having a lawyer. It's now a part of my board of advisors. If you want me to talk about board of advisors, it's most definitely life changing i can touch more on that please click the like button that's going to help with the algorithms and subscribe to my channel um also check out some of my music videos if you are a part of the bingo nation <laughs> check out who they 1981 um also check out he's alive and check out battle depression anthem uh which is a really special song to help people with suicide and depression Peace and blessings. Why do black people always act ghetto when they acquire some money? Why? Why can't we be classy and act like we already had money? Hmm? Black man, when you get that money, you do right. Go ahead and find your wife. It's not cute bouncing around from woman to woman. But if that's your prerogative, please don't at me. And if you're a beautiful sister, we don't have to act wretched. We don't. We don't have to be ratchet when we get money. Let's be cute and classy. Why do we have to boast? Because as quickly as we get it, it can be taken away. Okay? Don't apologize to me. Apologize to God.